My name is René Reinsberg and I'm the founder of Cello and the president at the Cello Foundation. So one of Cello's two values is connectedness and so for us it's very important to bring the community together uh, to, to really celebrate that connectedness and uh, you know we're all working towards the same mission and you know taking different pieces of, of that puzzle and so what I'm hearing when I walk through the hallways is people having conversations around how to work together, how to solve problems, uh, or, or just meeting a friend, meeting someone that they haven't seen in a while. And uh, yeah, it's you know, giving me just so much joy to see everyone here. Um, you know, this conference has been sold out for over a week now and people are still trying to get tickets and we have this wonderful venue. So it's, it's, it's just been really amazing. So Cello's mission is to build a better really regenerative financial system that creates the conditions of prosperity for everyone. And really what that means is allowing, um, allowing us to have financial tools, financial services, products that are accessible to everyone, that serve communities, but that are also in sync with our planet, with the health of, uh, of our planet and the environment. And that is really possible um, when, you start, when you start innovating on money. And uh, that's really what the Cello community has been doing. And there, there are many examples of that, which I'm happy to share. Uh, but uh, yeah, just to pick one, UBI is one of the five features of money. And when you can bring UBI to everyone in the world on a phone, you're not only creating a way for people to be financially included, but also to participate in the global digital economy. So uh, last year, the, the Cello um, Climate Collective was announced, which is a collaboration of projects working at the intersection of climate and Web3 on Cello. And one of the really most exciting outcomes of that work is to shift to a financial system where currencies can be backed by natural assets that are brought on chain through tokenization. Um, it's already happening, so today a small portion of the Cello Reserve that backs Cello stablecoins like the Cello Dollar, Cello Euro, Cello Real is in, in a natural asset, starting with a carbon offset. And that really leads to a world where the more we use these currencies, the more we can actually do good for the environment. Um, and preserve our natural assets. And so already today, um, you know, cello, cello currencies, cello products are used uh, really in almost every country in the world um, with, you know, some of the strongest adoption in places like Brazil, where in December, you know, through a governance proposal, the cello real was, um, you know, was proposed and then introduced earlier this year. And um, it's phenomenal because you can today walk into, um, I think, every other store in Brazil and you take out your Celo wallet and you can pay with Celo Real with the local point of sale. And that's gonna, you know, soon be everywhere and really allow people to, to live uh, and transact um, in, in digital assets all the time. Look, the, <laughs> the future is very much defined by what the community is building, where the community is going. Um, I'm excited because already since the, the launch of the protocol there have been over 50 governments proposals on chain where people make proposals to make uh, cello better and then the community votes using cello on these improvements and it's it's phenomenal because if you're building an application on cello and you realize wow there's this one feature or there's this thing that's that's missing that could be better then you can propose that change to the community and sure enough there will be others that may agree and say yes this is needed and then that can happen and so I'm personally most excited about this move towards a regenerative financial system at the, at the heart of which are bringing more natural assets on chain and that existing as a building block for you know probably applications that I can't even think about right now um, similar to you know what's happened with the internet where we <laughs> We may have thought email was, was sort of all we're gonna get, but then we got all these other beautiful applications. And so to me, that, is, uh, that makes this job fun every day because there's, every day there's, there's some new applications, some new building block joining into this ecosystem and bringing us closer to our, to our mission.